Okay, we got University of St. Thomas here with us. Um, from left to right, running back Josh Parks, head coach Glenn Caruso, linebacker Parker Lebacek, and then on the right side there is quarterback Tommy Dolan. Coach, I'll start with you. We'll take an opening statement, and then we'll open it up for any questions. Uh, number one, want to thank everybody who's here. I thank the simple fact that it draws as much attention as a testament to not just football in the state of Minnesota, but also this rivalry and both schools. So I uh, appreciate you being here. Obviously disappointed with the outcome. Here to answer any and all questions, uh, but certainly hats off to St. John's. Wonderful job that they did throughout the game, specifically in the second in the second half, but, but definitely throughout the game. But I'll take questions. Uh, well, it was it was good. It wasn't good enough, right, Jay? So um, really have to be careful with the word momentum. Don't usually like that that word too much because we want to focus on the process. I say that all the time when we have success and everyone rolls their eyes, but it's the the truth on the other side because you know that they have a really good team. And you know we've been in scenarios the other way where it ends up being a, a start in our deficit, and you sit there and you say, guys, you still got three three and a half quarters left. Um, so you have to, to be diligent about it. But certainly the start was a good one. I didn't think we were over-emotional. Uh, but when we weren't able to, there were two specific offensive drives that we did not convert on in, in, in the first half and in the second half. And there were two specific drives that they did convert on. And I think that was a big difference in uh, them being able to go do what they did. Coach, would you like to see more St. Thomas games in the venue like Allianz Field? Well, it's unique. I mean, um, we love playing at home too, right? I mean, that's certainly a neat deal. Uh, we play really, really well when we play at home, but it's unique when you get a chance to play in a different venue. Um, and this, uh, the folks at Allianz did do a wonderful job in trying to make it uh, feel as much like a home game as you can. So it's a neat experience. There's no question there is value to that experience. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, if, if you play a game like this at home, away, in Allianz, uh, in the middle of a cornfield in Iowa, it should be a great football game. It doesn't matter. And um, uh, we, we, en we enjoyed the opportunity that we had today, even though we didn't come out on the winning end. Well, this could be over the next year for your program, an exciting time. You move up to, to D1. Will this be one of the things you really miss is the rivalry with, uh, with St. John's? Because that would be tough to do if you're a D1 school and uh, well, certainly. I think everyone appreciates the rivalry, no matter what side you're on, and I'm I'm just one of those people. Um, I continue to say I, I love and respect the rivalry, but I'm even more grateful for the fact that it's two good football teams that are playing in a rivalry. And, look, you guys cover college football all across the country, and you see rivalry games that really aren't rivalry games, uh, and then you see the ones that have a whole nother level, and that's what we have here. So uh, always awesome. Just get a chance to talk to those coaches outside and always love playing the best competition we can play. For the players, what was it like playing at Allianz Field in a big soccer stadium like this? Um, I thought it was very exciting. I mean, uh, fans came out from both sides of the team, or both sides of, uh, you know, St. John's, St. Thomas, and, you know, uh, it, was, it was an exciting time. Josh, they just put the, the field down two weeks ago. How did it play? How was the footing? Could you tell that it only been down two to three weeks? Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, during practice, we were able to uh, practice on grass when we, were at, when we play on grass fields. So we understood what the footing was going to be. Like, obviously, it's not going to be the exact same as artific artificial turf. Um, but we went on there pregame, and we were able to kind of get a feel for it. And you know, I don't think it affected the game whatsoever. Um, I slipped a little, but um, I noticed um, on the field there's a couple spots that were a little beat up, but um, overall it was pretty good. Josh, this is your final time in Johnny. Obviously, this ends the way you would have hoped. What are the emotions you want right now? Uh, it's tough. Um, obviously, you know, this is a big rivalry game, but it doesn't matter what game it is. When you lose, um, it's, it's not a good feeling. Um, it's something that you know we're going to be able to learn from be able to grow from and uh, you know that's the biggest biggest thing that we can do moving forward that's all we can control but the message has very little to do with all of those things that you said and the simple fact that we're not playing like we should be able to be 
playing right now. The message to the team without getting too into it is we need to be able to get back to finishing the way that we are accustomed to finishing. And the legacy that is that has been left to us by our former players is one where we're able to finish. And I do not think that we finished well today, whether that's the play, the drive, the game. And I think the other team did. Any final questions? It's difficult to, to stop when they have to a great quarterback and they go five wide. Is that a difficult scheme to prepare for and stop? It looked pretty difficult today to stop, didn't it, Jace? Right? Um, yeah, it, it definitely is. And it's <clears throat> part of it is a scheme. And hats off to the, the coaches for the scheme. But part of it's also the players within the scheme. And that's what makes the team really, really dynamic. When I see the most dynamic teams, um, they, can, they can win and have success in a lot of different ways. Sometimes on offense, it comes in five wide. Sometimes it comes in a wing tee. But that's what dynamic means. And they were able to move the ball, utilize the field, run the ball just enough uh, that they needed to and then make the throws uh, in, in situations where they needed to. So certainly it's, it's difficult. I think overall our defense does a fantastic job. But the last two years, boy, we have, with this team, been fighting an uphill battle, and that's something we have to work on. Coach, obviously you guys know Erdman very well in that situation, but is it significantly different when they're throwing a bunch of different uh, receivers out at you guys that haven't played against you before? It is a little bit. Now, I don't think that affected necessarily how we, how we defended the, the game last year. Last year, they had a very veteran group of wideouts, as you know, and uh, tremendously talented this year, very deep. And uh, I think they utilize that, that personnel that they have really well. But different guys at this point of the season, Pat, it's not like you're getting them in week two or week three. And there are times where we face them early in the year, and maybe there's something lacking because there is a timing and a rhythm to it. But this time of year, they've had the reps that they need, for sure. Glenn, how good is Erdman? How does he compare to other quarterbacks, good quarterbacks you guys have faced in the past? Yeah, he's, uh, he, he's in, an, in an elite category as far as quarterbacks at this level. Uh, we've been blessed to be able to face some really good ones. I think back to some players of the year and guys that played in the NFL, Tanny at Monmouth, uh, the guys at Linfield, um, the guys at Oshkosh, the guys at Whitewater, some really high-end quarterbacks, and he's right up there with them. He's, he's a very talented young man. I'll take two more if there are any. Once again, I know it hurts to, to be in the position we're in, but the fact that you guys cover us, uh, we're grateful for it, and I hope you know that's very genuine and authentic, so thank you very much. Thanks, guys.